This problem is about finding the required volume of reactor for a reversible exothermic reaction in MFR. So, the given thing is a first order reaction, reversible reaction. It is carried out in a mixed flow reactor for operations at 300 Kelvin. The volume of reactor is given as 100 liters for a conversion of 60 percentage of A. What would be the volume of the reactor for the same feed rate and conversion but with operations at 400 Kelvin? We are given with uh, rate constant data as a function of temperature and Cp of feed and product are the same and delta H or that is heat of reaction at one temperature and K at one temperature and also feed is pure A there is there is no R present okay there is the information and total pressure stays constant. So these are all the information let us try to find the volume of reactor for the operation at 400 Kelvin based on the data available at 600 uh, sorry 300 Kelvin. Normally we expect with increase in temperature there is an increase in rate of reaction thereby uh, we would expect the reduction in volume but it is not always so at least for exothermic reversible reactions. Let us see that how it is coming. So for the reaction K1 is available as a function of temperature we are given with it heat of reaction at 300 Kelvin and since Cp of feed and product are the same heat of reaction does not change with temperature. Okay, there is the information we are getting because of this one. So otherwise, what is heat of reaction? Heat of reaction at one temp, uh, heat of reaction at the reaction temperature equal to heat of reaction at standard conditions plus delta C P of products minus reactants multiplied by delta T. So since C P of products minus reactants equal to zero, so delta H of reaction at any temperature equal to delta H of reaction at say one temperature. Not or is heat of reaction not changes with temperature. Now K at one temperature is available and using that we can get K at another temperature using the want of uh, relation. So simply uh, every information is available so we are getting this K at another temperature. So what is the need for that? So because initial operation is at 300 Kelvin the second operation the first uh, is at 400 Kelvin. So for 400 and 300 we have this values of K now there is a equilibrium constant. So where we are going to use that let us come to the uh, rate equation. So rate equation for the reversible reaction K1 Ca minus K2 Cr is coming in terms of conversion this way and uh, we know, uh, what we are expected we are, we are going to find this volume from uh, the design equation for MFR is V by Fa naught equal to Xa by minus Ra. So you can substitute for Ra in terms of Xa of course here in addition to K1 we have K2. So we need to get the relation for K1 and between K1 and K1 and K2. So for that uh, we can uh, equate this to 0 and we are getting this at when rate equal to 0 Xa is equal to Xa equilibrium. So we have the connection between K1 and K2. Uh, which is coming as XAE by 1 minus XAE but of course still we don't have the XAE data available. So this XAE of course having a relation with uh, react, uh, what is it equilibrium constant in what way from uh, thermodynamics we know this equilibrium constant is delta uh, what is it heat of uh, sorry, not a, uh, the concentration of products by concentration of reactants and uh, CR at equilibrium is C R naught plus C A naught at uh, C A naught into X A equilibrium. So this uh, since C R is C R naught is zero and C R C A naught get getting cancelled, we have K equal to one by one X A E by one minus X A E. So this uh, right hand side and this right hand side are the same, which indicates capital K is also equal to K one by K two. So, at least what we are going to do using the information of capital K, we can get K2. So, what is the need for that? See, we need to get the rate value that we are going to use it in the design expression. 
so k2 is written in terms of capital k and k1 so now every uh, information is available so what are all available xa is given as 60 percent k1 is available as a function of temperature k is also available at the temperature so everything is known so let us try to find uh, the all or we can substitute uh, corresponding to 300 kelvin uh, so k1 is obtained this rate constant is obtained similarly we can get the rate constant at another temperature also this we are going to use it in the problem now at 300 kelvin v by f a naught uh, v by r is this equation is this equation 5 we are substituting the known quantities at 300 kelvin so volume is 100 liters and conversely 60 percent k1 already available at uh, 300 kelvin and using that we have this c a naught by f a naught for this same c a naught by f a naught uh, we are now operating the reactor at 400 kelvin so we are asked to find the volume at 400 kelvin so substituting everything in this equation that is that is the equation so we have this equation in this equation k1 is now changed to from initial uh, initially where the reaction were at uh, what is it 300 kelvin so this from this value now it is changing to the another value so yes of that now we have this volume estimated of course if you see that this quantity is coming as negative so otherwise uh, there is something wrong in the uh, uh, thing here at least we are expecting more conversion than actually possible because uh, because of the equilibrium reaction uh, there is a limitation on conversion what is called as equilibrium conversion at any temperature let us try to find the equilibrium conversion corresponding to 400 kelvin how to find that we know the connection between equilibrium constant and equilibrium conversion so otherwise equilibrium conversion is related with equilibrium constant by this way and uh, already we have this value of k at uh, 400 kelvin that we have obtained where we have obtained see this is the value of k at 400 kelvin so using that value we are getting this value of uh, xae which is coming to uh, 0.259 whereas what we are expecting we are expecting a conversion of 60 percent at the temperature of 400 kelvin so at the temperature of 400 kelvin the maximum conversion is only 25.9 percent whereas we are expecting a conversion of 60 percent so which is not possible so that's why v is coming as negative okay now let us try to modify the problem instead of the operating temperature of 400 kelvin we'll try to operate at 340 kelvin so let us first uh, check whether at uh, 340 kelvin the conversion of 60 percentage is possible otherwise we are going to find the equilibrium conversion corresponding to 340 kelvin so for that we need to know the equilibrium constant at 340 kelvin that using the that we are finding using the data of k at one temperature so we are getting k at 340 the new temperature so for that k is obtained as 2.06 and uh, uh, the relation between xae and uh, capital k from that we are getting xae equal to k by 1 plus k so which is coming as 67.3 percent whereas our expectation is only 60 percent so uh, definitely uh, we will be getting a uh, uh, positive value of v our calculations will be uh, getting to a value for volume so before that uh, again what we are doing um, we are getting the value of reaction uh, constant rate constant forward rate constant at a temperature of 340 kelvin using the available expression of uh, k versus t so that is available of course uh, there is uh, uh, time uh, unit should be there one by time unit okay now substituting again the design expression we for the ex, uh, for the value of c a naught by f a naught of 5.5 by 100 we are getting this v as 99.42 whereas okay now this is again giving some interesting result so initially at 300 kelvin the volume were 100 liters even at 340 kelvin we again get nearly 
100 liters so it indicates uh, though there is a change in temperature it is not changing the rate but it is nearly the same rate we are getting the nearly the same rate so let us try to understand this with the way of this graph we know this equilibrium conversion versus temperature and we can also plot this kind of uh, what is it conversion versus uh, temperature for various rates so this is zero rate rate at rate of zero and rate of slightly higher value still higher value and we can have a lot of other uh, of course a lot of other such plots okay okay in the first case what happened uh, we were operating at 300 kelvin and uh, we try to operate at 400 kelvin which is if you try to operate at 400 kelvin okay 400 say somewhere here that is this 400 kelvin the conversion is only this much which is, which is only 20 somewhere around what is the conversion we have seen 26 point no nearly about 26 percentage so so instead of uh, 26 percent the maximum possible we were expecting a conversion of 60 percent at uh, higher temperature so since that it was not possible we were getting a negative value of v uh, now we have changed the temperature from 400 or we have reduced the temperature from 400 to 340 kelvin so for 340 kelvin assume this is your uh, 300 and this is your 340 for 300 and 340 uh, for the same conversion we are getting the same value of v uh, this is uh, uh, we are getting the same value of v this is because of the rate no uh, rate is the same that is rate is the same yeah, at 300 as well as 340 that is this is possible because the rate curve is going through a maxima and uh, it's possible at 300 this is having the same rate and 340 also the same rate for this the same rate curve conversion there are two conversions possible sorry what is it there are two temperature possible for a given conversion so the initial temperature were 300 and the next temperature were 400 for the same two for the two different temperature we were getting the same volume now let us again modify the problem instead of 340 let us try to operate at the another temperature say 320 hmm? somewhere between these two between these this and this so we are trying to operate at the mid temperature let us try to uh, get the equilibrium conversion corresponding to 320 for that we are getting k at 320 k at 320 is obtained uh, yeah what is it it's already k at yeah we need k at uh, 320 only mm, yeah supposed to be this is small correction here So k at 320 is available and using that uh, and a small k what is it rate constant at uh, this is also a small correction here 320 kelvin so we have uh, forward rate constant and equilibrium constant at 320 calculated using that again we are going to the design expression here we are substituting everything uh small k1 and capital k got changed so because of that now we have the value of v calculated to be 78.7 liter of course this is uh, better than the uh, volume given by uh, what is it the 300 kelvin and uh, 340 kelvin both were expecting a volume of nearly 100 liters whereas by operating at uh, 320 kelvin by operating at 320 kelvin we see there is a reduction of vo uh, volume this is because uh, we are operating now uh, risk, uh, risk, there is an increase in temperature from 300 uh, from 300 or is from 300 uh, from this point we are operating at this point this operating point is having a higher rate corresponding to the 300 or even at 
what is it 340 340 and 320 300 both are having nearly the same rates whereas 320 uh, uh, temperature of 320 is having a higher rate so at least this r2 is higher than r1 at least this is rate of zero slightly increasing still increasing with increase in sorry with increase in temperature we'll be having this kind of graphs so otherwise what is the conclusion uh, we need to operate at the uh, temperature which is giving the what is it which is giving the higher rate so at any temperature look for the high rate possible so how to always what is that thing they are nothing but the optimum temperature production there is a temperature at which rate is maximum there is a best operating temperature uh, for any conversion there is a uh, maximum rate so there is the option optimum temperature progression of course the pfr will be operated along this optimum temperature progression whereas for mfr we need to operate at the temperature which is falling on the optimum temperature progression line at any conversion okay okay thank you uh, of course the interesting thing is uh, we need to look at the temperature which is having the giving the higher rate this is uh, nothing but that uh, or is this is nothing but finding the optimum temperature progression for every uh, uh, what is it every uh, conversion or is this optimum temperature progression is somewhere uh, like this no so or is we are finding this point likewise this point we need to get that get for any conversion we need to get operate at the maximum rate okay thank you